Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today you are joining us as we journey through a hidden gem of Northern Thailand, Me Kampong Village. From savoring local delicacies to discovering cultural treasures, Me Kampong has it all. Located just one hour's drive away from Chiang Mai, Me Kampong is an excellent day trip or you can choose to stay overnight at one of the amazing homestays in the village. Along the way, you will find excellent restaurants and shops as well as vibrant rice fields, so take your time when exploring. So sit back, relax, and let's explore every corner of this enchanting village together. And welcome to Me Kampong. Our first stop for today is at this beautiful coffee shop on top of the hill where we're gonna get a beautiful view of the entire town. This coffee shop is called Rabeng and it's a beautiful way to start the morning. They have delicious coffee, this amazing view. Uh, it is a bit of a walk up here, but you can actually take one of the Tyson Taos so you don't have to walk by yourself. Right next door, there's another beautiful coffee shop. This one is called Indigao. Very pretty. Same view, amazing coffee. I'm not sure if this is the way back down because we're left the main road but even if we get lost I wouldn't mind it we're just kind of walking through this quaint beautiful little village although the village of Mekampong basically makes money mostly out of ecotourism and some tea coffee and wine production I can help to feel but this feels very authentic uh, I know it's a touristy place, but they kept it looking very, very nice. This looks like a real Thai village in the mountains, looking at these beautiful wooden uh, houses and, you know, the simple life here. Everything's quiet. All you hear are the sounds of nature and the loud cicadas. It feels very authentic and nice. There are so many coffee shops and homestays and restaurants around here, beautiful views by this little river this is just a great day trip from chiang mai if you are in the area here in the north i would highly recommend coming here you can either do what we did like rent a car or motorbike and drive yourself or you can actually get an organized tour they can pick you up from your hotel and just kind of make your way here explore the surrounding areas and head back the next stop on our little tour of Me Kampong is Wat Kantapruksa. This is the local temple here in the area. Also looks very traditional. Sometimes the Thai temples look quite modern or new. This one looks a little older and very authentic. There is a pathway that goes all the way down. So you can go down to the water and dip your feet. There's a few kids down there having fun in the water. The temple does have a lot of parking. I see a lot of people are stopping here. And so if you decide to drive, you can make your first stop here at Wat Kantakruksa and uh, leave your car here and kind of walk around. Just on the side of the temple, we're going down to explore the rest of the village. Found a little cool pathway. So we don't have to walk on the road so much. The roads are quite narrow and there's quite a bit of traffic. We are visiting on a Friday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, expect a bit of traffic and quite a few tourists. So just kind of be careful walking around because there's quite a few cars going up and down. This is the main area of the town, the downtown area, if you want to call it that. 
There's quite a bit of restaurants here, street food, some nice northern Thai sausages grilling here and some pork. You can find icy drinks and there's restaurants all around. And this is where everybody's taking their Instagram pictures. There are quite a few tourists here coming in for the weekend, but most of them are locals. Very few foreigners, so I would say this is uh, quite the hidden gem. All these souvenirs kind of look handmade. What did you get? It's a nice flower for my hair. Nice. How much was that? It's like 39 baht, which is like one dollar supporting the local economy and looking pretty at the same time. Beautiful. <laughs> the entire town is just about one mile long from here at the beginning all the way up to the coffee shops. And it's just full of the souvenir stalls, coffee, restaurants, and homestays. So now we wanna go and try some of this delicious street food. I'm excited for some nice spicy Northern Thai sausage. Is this sticky rice? No, uh, pork. Pork? Pork? Yeah. Okay. Can we try one of those as well? And chicken? Chicken bun. Got the goods. Let's go find a table. Sit down and enjoy some of this delicious food. Oof. Nice table. How spicy is it? Quite spicy, but delicious. After lunch, we decided to walk around a little bit and find a quick refreshment. So this is an interesting thing. They keep these cokes on ice whilst they're mostly moving. And they're super, super cold. So they are liquid right now, but as soon as she smacks it, it's gonna turn into an icy. Good. So the waterfall is about 10 minutes walk from town, but it's all uphill and you have to cross this water. So we decided to take a local cab, maybe. <laughs> and we have arrived. It cost 20 baht per person from downtown there at the temple here to the Me Kampong waterfall. Usually these waterfalls are quite a walk away but this one is just very close to the road. So definitely worth stopping by. It is the dry season, so the waterfall is quite underwhelming, but being so close to the road, still worth a visit. Everything kind of quieted down now that we're close to lunchtime. We're also gonna leave the main area of the village here and we're going to a very special place called the giant Chiang Mai. It's about 20 minutes away from here on our way back to Chiang Mai and they have amazing views and amazing food. Not gonna lie, coming up here was a bit sketchy. It's uh, quite steep and quite curvy. I don't know if I would attempt it in the wet season, but the views will be worth it. Uh. Oh. Wow. I see why they call it the giant. It's a giant tree. Looks like the big tree from Avatar. Wow. Look at this place. This bridge is quite shaky. I don't know if I would attempt it if it's wet. There are some stairs to the side. I guess safer route. If you want to find more hidden gems like this one, check out our entire Thailand travel guide. I'll put a link to it in the description below. And you will also find our amazing travel products and buying them would support us and the channel directly. So thank you very much. How crazy is this place? Amazing, like the view and the tree is so, so, so giant. 
<laughs> it's like incredible. I was so captivated with the bridge. I didn't even notice the view. We're so high up. Oh my God. If you're afraid of heights. Wow. It's beautiful up here. We order some drinks and some food and we're gonna chill here and enjoy nature and finish our lunch. And we're just gonna go ahead and end the video here in this beautiful scenery. Thank you very much for watching. As always, stay safe, be nice to each other, and we'll see you again in the next one.